Welcome to STSPN.com. I'm here tonight with Coach Brian Hunter of the Glacier Peak Grizzlies in the Bear Cave. Tonight's matchup against Shorewood. Coach, is the team about where you expected them to be this far in this season? Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure it's where we expected to be, but, um, you know, you, you uh, I like where we are from the standpoint of how we're playing. We're competing. Um, I think we're proving some people wrong a little bit, which has kind of been fun. Um, the kids have had a little extra motivation just from the standpoint of where people thought we'd be versus where we are. So that's kind of been fun. So, yeah. So how do you think you match up against Shorewood? Your team's 8-2, and 2-0 two, two and oh in the league. They're 7-2, and two, I believe 1-1 one and one in league. I think they're 2-0 and oh in the league as well. Yeah. Yeah, they, they beat uh, Shorecrest and uh, Meadowdale as well. Um, you know, it's going to be a tough matchup. They've got three-year starters out there in Freeman. Uh, Boone is a Division One athlete, oh, going to yeah. pitch at Wazoo next year. And um, so we, we've got our hands full. They've, they've got an experienced basketball team. I think we match up all right size-wise. Um, it's just a matter of which, which group's going to execute and which group's going to, you know, make, make enough uh, plays to, to win the game. And who, who's going to make the more mistakes, right? Same game plan, you're just going to attack, attack, attack? You know, we're going to try to limit their good looks and uh, limit them to one shot. It's kind of how we play. Um, we've uh, we've played good good defense this year. You know, our kids have really uh, bought into playing a solid defense, and I think that's why we are where we are right now, record-wise. Yep. Defense wins ball games. Any single player that has surprised you this year? Well, I think Luke Neal surprised us. You know, Luke, uh, he's he's done a really good job of running the point. It's a tough job and um, thankless job. People know when you make mistakes. They don't know when you do it well. And um, he's had to follow some really good point guards here. You know, we've had we've only had five teams before this year, but every one of them's a legit point guard. And so um, he stepped into that role. And I don't think, you know, he did it a little bit blind. And uh, but I'm really proud of him so far. He's done a great job this year. So yeah, I was really impressed with him on JV last year. He looks real calm, got a good handle. And he looks like he's thinking while he's out there, right? <laughs> you know, he's only going to get better. Um, but, no, we're, we're proud of him. He's done a good job so far. Okay, so last question. How do you think the West Go South is going to shake out in the end? You know, it's tough. Um, it's the toughest league in West Go by far. Um, no team in our league has a losing record. Um, you know, just good players, good coaches, good teams. I don't know. You know, Terrace is the favorite by far right now, I'd say. And then everybody else is just fighting to – first get into districts and then find out where you fall but um you know we want to be in the mix that's our hope you know we weren't predicted to be in the mix and so our job is to to get in the mix get there, yep. yep yeah so second half of the season when everybody's playing good that's when you have to execute for sure without a doubt that's when you uh make her uh, that's when you get into the districts the second half excellent well thank you very much and good luck tonight you bet. thanks